Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on my lip product collection. Um, I used to have around, I want to say 100 to 115 different um, lip products and I have cut that down greatly. I decluttered a bunch of them, only a couple of them I tossed and the rest of them I gave away to um, friends and family. So I kind of got down to what I would say are products that I actually do use. Um, before I used to just buy anything that I thought looked um, pretty and now I kind of just brung it all down to things that I know I will wear, especially since I like to wear most of the color from my makeup on my eyes and leave my lips a little bit more nude. So I'm going to start off with my um, traditional bullet lipsticks and then to my glosses and um, liquid lipsticks. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so I may just put them all together or may um, split the bullet lipsticks in one video and then the glosses with the liquid lipsticks together in a separate video. So the first lip product that I'm going to be talking about is this Milani lipstick. It is in the shade Black Cherry and this is a lipstick that I really do enjoy. I usually wear it during the fall in the winter. There is a swatch of it. It's very pretty and it's very comfortable. Um, I do enjoy berry shades in the winter like I have said. And I really do enjoy the scent on their um, color statement lipsticks. They smell um, really nice and fruity. I actually just finished up another one that I had from the same line about two or three months ago. Okay, so that was the only drugstore bullet lipstick that I own. Now the next lipstick that I'm going to show you guys is this Kat Von D studded um, kiss lipstick, I believe it's called. And it is in the shade, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, Muse. And this was actually limited edition. It came in the set with the um, Too Faced and Kat Von D collection. And there it is. It is a rosy nude color and it has some shimmer throughout it and well it is shimmery but it has I feel like it does have glitter in it as well and it is I like it well enough but I do feel grittiness when I do use it so this is all that I have left currently since this is a mini and I really do want to try to use it up um, instead of tossing it. So we'll see how much progress I get on that front. I am, like I said, thinking about doing a panning tag so that might come in handy then so I can go ahead and use that up. And the next lipstick is this Marc Jacobs lipstick is also a mini in the shade Slow Burn and I got this also in a set um, from the Sephora Favorites set with a couple of other lipsticks that I will be showing you and it is a pinky nude 
and it pulls a little a little brown as well as you can tell it is somewhat similar to that shade next to it and you're gonna see a lot of that same shade throughout this video since I do tend to go for lipsticks like that and the next lipstick that I'm gonna show you is by Urban Decay and this is a full-size lipstick and it is in the shade 1993 and this lipstick also came in that set with the Marc Jacobs lipstick and this is more of a brown nude it's just a bit more darker than the one next to it and pulls a lot more brown on the lips it almost looks like a terracotta brown and I didn't mention that about the Marc Jacobs formula but I do enjoy the formula it's very soft it is very creamy but I don't feel like it lasts that long and with these Urban Decay lipsticks I do feel like they last a tiny bit longer than that and the next lipstick is also an Urban Decay lipstick and this is full size as well and it is in the shade Heroin now this is obviously a very different color than from the ones that I've showed you previously and I just wanted a shade like this I felt like I needed it in my life and I thought I was gonna wear it very often don't get me wrong it is a beautiful shade and I do enjoy wearing it but I just don't wear it as often as I thought I would it mainly because not because I don't want to go out in public with it but just mainly because I do like to wear most of the color on my eyes like I have said and I'd rather go a bit nude on the lip so that is the only reason why I don't wear it as often as I would like to um, wear that shade but the formula is great it's not drying at all for a matte lipstick and I do enjoy it um, I wanna see how much I would use it this year and from that point on then I'll see if I will declutter it since I don't use it as often now the next um, lipsticks that I'm gonna show you are the last of my traditional bullet lipsticks and they are all from Bite Beauty and so this first one is in the shade well, let me show you the packaging first it is a mini one it is from their Amuse um, Bouche lipstick line and it is a mini and it is in the shade rhubarb I do enjoy mini lipsticks just because I don't feel like I will ever well I would use up a full lipstick but it's just I don't want it to go bad and I heard that these lipsticks do go bad a lot quicker than other lipsticks now that is again one of the shades that I, you have seen it is very similar to slow burn um, by Marc Jacobs but I this is my favorite lipstick formula and I would purchase this formula over the Marc Jacobs formula for sure although these lipsticks do um, expire a lot easier and a lot quicker this is another mini size and it is in the shade honeycomb and this did come with the lipstick set 
um, the Sephora favorites that I um, previously mentioned. And this is just an everyday nude shade. And I really do enjoy it. It almost looks like the Kat Von D shade, but without all of the shimmer. And if I didn't mention, I can't remember if I did, but that rhubarb shade came in a set with two lipsticks. Which, this was the other lipstick, another mini set that I bought from Sephora. And this is in the shade Thistle. Now this shade is very unique to my collection. It is the only shade like this that I do own, that I do have. Um, sadly, it has um, broken at the bottom of the bullet and said it's, it is so tiny, it is so hard to um, fix it since it's so short but I just can't get rid of it I want to try to fix it again just because I really do love that color it is almost like a nude taupe but it has a lot of lavender in it and I just think it looks super pretty with a purple eye look and a pink gloss over it. I just love it. Okay. And so the next lipstick is this Bite Amuse, Amuse Bouche Lipstick. Um, do a lipstick in the shade Fig and Rose Gold. So this is a two-sided lipstick. As you can see. Fig is over here and rose gold is there. And I do enjoy the formula. It is the same and if I didn't mention it already, these do have somewhat of a lemon scent. So this is the fig shade. I am not such a fan of pink lipsticks. But I did want the rose gold shade, so that's why I purchased this. But I think I may try to incorporate this during the spring with some more softer eye looks. And then the shade on the other side is the rose gold shade. So this is just a topper. And it is very pretty. It almost has like a pink tone in it. That's why it's rose gold. But it reminds me a lot of Nars's orgasm. It's very pretty. What I like to do. They suggest this to go on top of the fig shade on the packaging when I first purchased it. But I... I have found that I like putting the rose gold shade on first and then the fig and it has more of a more subtle look that I do enjoy. Now I have another duo lipstick and this one came in the shade Jam but as you can see it is gone. I only had a little bit left. I used up most of it. And then the little nub that it was on just kind of broke off. But you can swatch it a little bit. Because there still is product there. And it was a very pretty color. As you can see. But it was very similar to the Milani shade that I have already shown you. And the shade on the other side is in Opal, which is a another topper shade. As you can see, it does look clear, 
but I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick it up. It is more of a... It has like a shift to it and has like blue tones. I'll go ahead and apply it on top of the jam shade and see if you can kind of see it a little bit better. What I mean, you can barely see it, but it has like a blue sparkle to it now. And the last shade, well the last um, bullet lipstick that I own is one of the Bite Beauty High Pigment Pencils in the shade Honeyberry. And this was a recent purchase that I made on at Sephora on the Doe app. And these are actually on sale right now for $10. And through the app, I got it for only $1.35, I believe, which is how I got most of my um, makeup items that I did show in my haul. Um, if you want to see a separate video on that, then I'll go ahead and make a separate video for while showing you how I do get things over several sites, um, makeup items for free or at a cheaper cost. And I do have links in my description on some of those apps and some of those um, websites where you can do a couple of things and you will get um, either gift cards or money added to your PayPal and that's how I do purchase a lot of the makeup items that I do own. So the next things that I have in my collection are chapsticks as you may have seen in my previous haul. Now this was a chapstick that I did purchase at Walmart for a dollar something. And I just hate it. I don't like it. I will go through with it see, just because I do still have a good amount of product left, as you can see. And I will go through with that and just get it over with. But this isn't hydrating at all to me. Not hydrating enough. It says 8-hour um, moisture and moisturizer. But I do not feel... If that this has enough moisture for me so I'm just not a fan of it but I will finish it up and the next one that I'll probably be using is this one like I spoke in um, my haul video it's from Taste Beauty and it's just a domed lip balm but there is some shimmer to that so let me go ahead and swatch it a little bit next to the lipstick so you can kind of see as you can see, there's some shimmer in there. So, I'm just, I thought it was just going to be a regular balm. But it was not, so that would be the second one that I'll probably go through. And then, I'll probably just go through this one just because I know I really do enjoy it. And I'm, I probably will go through it a lot quicker than anything else. And then I will finish it off with this, um... Vaseline one just because I know this lasts me a good amount of time So as of right now, I think we're about to go into 20 minutes already of Filming so I'm probably gonna do my glosses in a separate video um, just because I know that if I go into my glosses, then that would be, um, another probably 15 minutes just on my glosses and my liquid lipsticks. So if you like this video, please hit that like button 
If you aren't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. I post every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.